Hi, I'm Yasmin Sheikh. I'm a trainer and consultant, and I specialize in disability inclusion in the workplace, having previously worked as a lawyer in the city for 12 years before setting up my own consultancy. Disability Rights UK is the nation's leading user-led pan-disability charity. We describe ourselves as disabled people leading change. And all of our trainers and the majority of other staff have personal lived experience of disability. We work extensively with both the private and public sector to promote and create inclusive environments, products and services. Our disability awareness training aims to help employers become more effective in developing a diverse and talented workforce and to understand what it means to be confident in recruiting and managing disabled staff. We structure our courses around three key principles. The first of these is the intriguing idea that disability is not necessarily what you think it is, and disabled people are not necessarily who you think they are. It's not just sticks and wheelchairs. In fact, some statistics for you, 97% of disabilities are non-visible and around 83% of disabled people acquire their disability during their working life, not born with a disability, but acquire one. Secondly, the second principle we introduce is a practical and illuminating model for supporting disabled people based on the idea that disability, as in someone's health condition or impairment, is usually not an issue in itself. Problems instead arise through things that we call barriers. Sometimes these are literally physical barriers, such as the layout of workplaces, lack of ramps into buildings, as an example. There can also be organizational barriers, inflexible systems, inaccessible recruitment processes. There are also attitudinal barriers, such as stereotyping, low expectations, unnoticed biases that many of us hold without even realizing. Now, the good news is that all of these things are something that employers can do something about. Colleagues, managers, recruiters can learn to anticipate those barriers. Problems can be avoided or more easily nicked in the bud. Conversations then become less about health and more along the lines of what barriers are you facing and how can we reduce or remove those? and everyone can be better supported to realize their full potential at work. We also provide a context for exploring the key principle of reasonable adjustment, which is part of the Equality Act, but with a focus on the positive benefits to the employee and the organization, rather than the narrow legal compliance, looking at common examples and ways to take the initiative and have easy, straightforward conversations with colleagues and line reports. In each course, we spend time looking at the practical application of these principles. We discuss what organizations are doing well or maybe not so well, and working through various case study scenarios with the help of the trainer. There's lots of interaction, there's lots of time for questions, there's tips on language and also further resources, all in a safe and friendly atmosphere while we ensure everybody feels they have something valuable to learn and to contribute.